So in this video, I'm going to talk about one more thing, which is sometimes they're going to have word problems or descriptions that have involved inequalities, and you have to learn how to represent those. So in this example here, your friend is more than three minutes late. So if he's more than three minutes late, the three minutes isn't included, right? It's more than that. So one minute late would work, two minutes late would work, three minutes late would work, but four, five, and six minutes would work. So that means if you try to represent this with inequalities, you would have um, the minutes that he's late is bigger than three. Don't forget, you can also represent that backwards by doing it uh, this way, that the minutes that are bigger than three, right? So here's a, let's look at another example of that. Um, if you have the temperature is at at most two degrees. So which statement is true? At most two, that means that three would be too much. Two will be okay because it's at most two. So two is included. And all the numbers below that would work as well. So in this example, all of the numbers to the left here would actually work. You could use two, you could use one, zero, negative one, and so forth. So an inequality could be represented by um, the temperature is less than or equal because two is included to two, right? And you could also say, by the way, there's always two ways of representing that. Uh, you could do it this way as well. All right, here's, let's see one more example of that. We have that you need at least four pieces of paper to do your homework, all right? So which numbers would make the statement true? So at least four means that four is the minimal that you need. Five would work too, six would work too, but three would work. That's not enough sheets of paper. So in this example, you, uh, you could use four, five, or six. So once again, the sheets of paper that you need would have to be bigger or equal to four, right? So because you have at least that. But of course, you can represent it backwards as well. And remember, there's always two ways to show the same thing there, right? Uh, this is supposed to be an S there for sheets of paper. So sorry about my handwriting. And we have one more. After playing a video game for 20 minutes, you have fewer than six points. So fewer than six, that means it doesn't include six. So six is out, but then all the other numbers would be okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and so forth, right? I don't know how you get negative points, but I guess you could. And so this example would be the points that you made are smaller than or equal to five, which of course you could also represent the this way, that the five is bigger than or equal than the points that you're trying to make. So I hope that's clear to you and how you can actually go from word descriptions to inequality uh, language. And of course, then you can actually make a graph of this too, like we did in previous videos if you needed to.